Hey, it's Adrian, and if you've been looking for a video doorbell for your home, you probably have seen there's a ton of options out there. And on top of that, there's a lot of things to consider, such as monthly fees, ease of installation, how you're going to power it, video quality, storage, etc. So stick around because I'm going to review four great video doorbells from BotsLab, Eufy, Reolink, and Ring. So I'm going to put all of these head to head in a couple of key areas, and you could decide which is the best for you. And I'll also let you know what my pick is for the best feature pack video doorbell. So let's get started. Installing all four of these video doorbells is really easy all you need is a screwdriver however if you want the video doorbell to trigger your home's existing chime when the doorbell ringer is pressed you could do that with the eufy video doorbell and the box out video doorbell the real link video doorbell it doesn't allow you this option but it does have a plug-in chime you could place anywhere in your house to hear it and then when it comes to the ring video doorbell it also cannot trigger your home's existing chime and you have to buy a separate chime unit additionally in terms of powering the video doorbell so the eufy video doorbell does have a battery included and when you do hook it up with the wiring that will also supply power to keep the battery topped up this is the same for the boss video doorbell 2 pro it has a battery pack on there but when to hook it up with your chimes wiring it's also going to provide power to top it up the ring video doorbell pro 2 comes in both a wired and battery version and the real link video doorbell is only a wired option there's no onboard battery so the bots video doorbell 2 pro and the eufy video doorbell e340 give you the most functionality in terms of if you want to use it with battery or wired or battery with wire topping it up. But I'm gonna give a slight edge to the BotsApp video doorbell because I've experienced a little bit better battery life. Whenever someone rings the video doorbell, if you're not always gonna be relying on your phone's app alerts to let you know and you want you know, audible confirmation of that, well, if you use the Ring video doorbell, you're gonna to have to buy an add-on chime that you could plug somewhere into your house there or have an Alexa you know, compatible device to alert you of that. With the Eufy video doorbell, you don't have an included chime, but if you have it connected to the home base 3 the home base 3 will make that chime noise or you can buy an add-on chime when it comes to real link it does have an included plug-in chime but you can't wire it to trigger your home's existing chime with the box lab you do also have a chime unit you could plug in but it can also be wired to trigger your home's existing chime so you know you could have the home's existing chime triggered on the main floor and plug in the chime you know upstairs or in a basement so you can hear it wherever you are in the house so the box lab video doorbell 2 pro is the best option for chime alerts and on top of that it's also the loudest option out of all of these all four video doorbells have great speakers and it's loud enough for you to have two-way talk or to issue commands you know when you're using live view now the bots video doorbell 2 pro is by far the loudest speaker out of any of these four video doorbells so i'm going to give it the edge there because it makes a great deterrent as well When it comes to video recording quality, the Real Link records in 2560 by 1920 at 20 frames per second and has a bit rate of 4,269 kilobits per second. The Ring Video Doorbell records in 1536 by 1536 and the frames per second is between 24 to 40 frames per second and a bit rate of 1,248 kilobits per second. The Eufy Video Doorbell records in 1600 by 2200 at 15 frames per second and the bit rate is 856 six kilobits per second. The BotsLab video doorbell records at 2240 by 2240 at 15 frames per second and the bit rate is 1499 kilobits per second. So while all four of these video doorbells have usable video, the edge is going to go to the Ring video doorbell for having the highest bit rate and at 20 frames per second. The Ring video doorbell gives you a 150 degree by 150 degree field of view so you have a good idea of what's going on outside of your house and it's a very usable field of view. The Link video doorbell gives you 135 degrees by 100 degrees field of view and it's the smallest field of view range out of the four video doorbells. The Eufy video doorbell gives you around 160 degrees field of view but it has something unique in that it has dual camera lens so you can see both the top and bottom of the outside of your doorway so you can see someone from head to toe. The Botsa video doorbell has an impressive 180 degree by 180 degree field of view meaning you're not going to miss anything going on outside of your front door. Now, while the Eufy video doorbell does have two different camera lens, one for the top and one for the bottom, you aren't going to see as much as having a 180 degree field of view. And if you're not a fan of the fisheye type of look, you can also cycle through various view modes 
on the Botsov video doorbell. So the clear winner here is going to be the Botsov video doorbell with that crazy 180 by 180 degree field of view. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. It truly means a lot to me to have your support, but let's get back to it. When it comes to recording modes, all four video doorbells offer the option to have event-based recording, which means it's only going to record once motion is detected. However, with the Reolink video doorbell, it can also record 24 hours a day continuously, which means you're never going to miss anything. So the Edge is going to go to the Reolink video doorbell for having the option to choose either event-based video recording or 24-7 continuous recording. While all four of these video doorbells did a fantastic job with motion detection, the two clear winners are going to be the Ring video doorbell and the BotSlab video doorbell 2 Pro for having the fastest motion detection times. When it comes to storage options, the Ring video doorbell Pro 2 is the worst out of these. There's no local storage at all. To get it to record, you need to pay for a monthly cloud plan. It's going to record it to the cloud. What happens if your internet goes down? Well, it's just not going to record anything. That's really silly. When we look at the Eufy Video Doorbell E340, there's eight gigs of local storage on there, and you can also pay for a cloud plan if you want to get, you know, additional storage. You also have the option to buy Eufy's Homebase 3, and then you also have to buy additional storage to insert into the Homebase 3, and you can expand that local eight gigs of storage up to, I believe, 16 terabytes, which is quite a lot, but it's a significant additional expense to do so. The BotSlab Video Doorbell 2 Pro comes with the most local storage which is 32 gigs and you do have the option to also pay additionally for a monthly cloud plan if you want to. And while the real link doesn't come with any local storage you can insert up to a 256 gigabyte micro SD card and there's also support for NVR recording. So the BotSlab Video Doorbell 2 Pro and the real link Video Doorbell are going to be the winners here but I'm going to have a slight edge to real link because you can insert up to 256 six gigabytes and you do have the option for NVR recording. The build quality is fantastic on all of these video doorbells. I didn't have problems with installation or any type of reliability issues, but the slight edge is going to go to the BotSlab Video Doorbell 2 Pro. It has an IP66 rating, whereas all of the other ones have an IP65 rating. I'm also happy to say that the app experience is great with all four of these video doorbells. I didn't experience any type of crashes and it was fairly quick to communicate with the cameras. However, I'm going to give a slight edge to the real link app because on top of that, you can also install computer software so you can monitor the video doorbell either from your phone or from a laptop or a desktop. Let's talk about monthly fees, something that I really hate and something that a lot of companies seem to be going towards. Now the Ring Video Doorbell Pro 2 is the worst out of all of these because you require a monthly paid plan to get even basic functionality out of it. However, with the other three video doorbells from BotSlab, Eufy, and Reolink, there's zero monthly fees to get full functionality out of it and most users are going to be happy with just not paying for any type of cloud plan with these video doorbells. So it's basically a three-way tie. In terms of price and value, the Reeling video doorbell comes in at between 88 to 110 US depending on if it's on sale, and it does come with a Chime unit. However, there is no local storage on there, so you will have to buy a micro SD card, which is an additional expense depending on how large of a capacity micro SD card you get. Next is the BotSlab Video Doorbell 2 Pro, which costs between 110 US to 250 US depending on if it goes on sale, and thank Hopefully it does go on sale quite often. So this is the next best value because it has onboard storage and includes a Chime unit. The Eufy Video Doorbell E340 comes in at around 180 US. It doesn't have a Chime unit, but it does have local storage on it, which is about eight gigabytes. And that's about four times less than on the BotSlab, which has 32 gigabytes. The Ring Video Doorbell Pro 2 comes in at around 230 US, making it the most expensive option out of all of these. On top of that, there's no included Chime unit and there's no local storage and you must pay a monthly fee to get basic functionality out of it. So in terms of value, it's going to be a tie between the Reeling Video Doorbell and the BotSlab Video Doorbell 2 Pro. Now the BotSlab Video Doorbell comes with an included Chime unit and 32 gigs of local storage right out of the box. With the Reeling Video Doorbell, it does come with a Chime unit, but there's no local storage at all. You will have to buy a micro SD card, which is going to be an additional expense. So which of these video doorbells is the most featured? pack video doorbell my pick is going to be the botsa video doorbell 2 pro thanks to that impressive 180 degree by 180 degree field of view you're really not going to miss anything going on outside of your house there's nowhere any type of packages or someone can hide from once you have this mounted and installed correctly on top of that you have 32 gigs of local storage which is quite a lot for event-based recording 
These speakers on here are also super loud and it comes with a chime unit. I just feel it's the best all around pick. Next is gonna be the Reolink Video Doorbell because you do have the option to have 24 seven recording, which means you're not gonna miss anything, but you will have you know less of a playback video history because it's gonna eat up more storage. So kind of a trade off there. The Reolink Video Doorbell also requires continuous power, whereas with the Bot Slab, it does have a battery pack. So if power goes down, it's really not gonna affect it. Next would be the Eufy Video Doorbell thanks to the unique dual lens setup, but it does have limited local storage. And the only way to expand that is to buy the home base three, which is a significant cost. And in last place is the Ring Video Doorbell Pro 2 because you have to pay monthly to even get this thing to record. There's no local storage, so if your internet goes down, it's not gonna record. And on top of that, if Ring decides to increase the monthly fee on this, you kind of have to pay it or you just have you know an expensive you know piece of equipment on your front door really do nothing. So I think the Botsap Video Doorbell 2 Pro is the best option for most people. It has a battery or you can also wire it to keep it topped up. You have the local storage, the impressive 180 by 180 degree field of view and super loud speakers and also that IP66 rating. So I'm gonna leave links down below to all four of the video doorbells I reviewed so you could check out the full reviews or to pick one up for yourself. And let me know which video doorbell you think is best for you and if you've used any other video doorbell that I didn't cover here and what you like about that video doorbell over these. And if I can ask for a small favor, if you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. It truly does help me out a lot and I'll see you in the next one soon.